Hi, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, we're actually going to take a look at and see what are you manifesting in your life right now. So, you know, what are you attracting into your life? What are you manifesting, or whom are you manifesting into your life next? It is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, Please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the sh uh, show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and see what, whom you're manifesting into your life next. Okay. This isn't as bad as it might seem, so don't think that, you know, you saw the Tower and you saw the Knight of Swords, that you're not manifesting the best of things. It's not as bad as it seems, trust me. Okay. We will put a positive spin um, on all of this. The bottom of the deck, the card that crowns your reading, is the Seven of Pentacles. So what you're manifesting might not be coming into your life as quickly as you want, which might be an indication for you to work a little bit harder um, on the manifestation uh, process and just make sure that, you know, because ordering from the catalog of the universe is not enough, okay? You have to put, obviously you have to put out your manifestations out into the universe you know, float it out into the world here. But it's also equally important that you are and your inner being, your higher self here is in alignment with your manifestation. So you can't just wish for that ideal partnership, but then energetically um, feel as though you don't deserve it or that it's never going to happen or that it's too good to be true. Okay, this is why it's so important to be in alignment with your manifestations. The other thing for you guys is that I do feel like if the universe here is making you wait, okay, so if your manifestations haven't come to fruition just yet, and if the universe is making you wait for it, I honestly believe that it's because your manifestations are coming into fruition tenfold. So when the universe makes us wait, it's because you know, what's coming to us is maybe bigger and better than we anticipate or expect. So be patient with the manifestation process. Sometimes things show up very quickly. Sometimes things take time. Um, we all know that, you know, good things, great things take a while here. So just be patient with yourself here. Um, be kind with yourself and just be patient with the whole, uh, with the, you know, the law of attraction, the universe here and the whole manifestation process here. So let's begin with the Queen of Cups here. To me, it feels like you're manifesting this energy where you're seen as uh, a lot more emotionally... Not that you're seen as a lot more emotionally stable, but I feel like you're a lot more in flow with your intuitions, with your emotions here, which is very important, especially to aid you in that whole manifestation process here, right? Um, to me, it feels like you're becoming a lot more in tune and in sync with thoughts and feelings that stem from your subconscious mind and stem from the depths of your soul. So you're becoming a lot more closely aligned with your higher self. Okay. Because um, water, you know, you've got the water that pulls at her feet there and that is symbolic of emotion spirit and that's also symbolic of perception here you're becoming a lot more like sensitive here to other people's needs as well um i feel like 
you're also manifesting certain energies in your life, whether romantic, whether friendship, business, or otherwise. See, but I feel like that are also in flow and in sync with who you are and as an energy here. And I feel like people are likely they're responding to your energy here. They're responding to your vibration, and they're showing you their most authentic and genuine versions of themselves. Okay, so you know you're attracting you're attracting very sincere, very genuine. People who are the highest versions and the most sincere versions of themselves because you are stepping into that version that, you know, the most sincere and authentic version of yourself here. I'm also seeing that you're creating space in your life for emotional expression. So what does that mean? I feel like you're becoming less inclined to take on people's energy. You're really prioritizing yourself, your energy and your emotional health and wellness and well-being here. Um... I'm also seeing that you're learning to create this separation and have this healthy separation between your thoughts and your feelings and someone else's here. So you're really manifesting. It feels like a healing energy. It feels like you're on a path to wellness here. You're on a path to like developing, like personal development and personal growth here. Um, you're highly, in, you're becoming highly intuitive, very creative, and just very in flow with yourself and your outer surroundings here. You're manifesting people who are, I feel like they're hearing you and understanding you um, a lot more as well. You're, for those of you that are creatively, artistically in, inclined, which would be a bunch of you, because I know air signs can be very creative here. Um, if you're working on any creative uh, projects, okay, any collaborative projects, you'll be manifesting the right kind of energies to help you work on those projects or to help make those projects a success here. Now with the Nine of Swords energy, I really just feel like it's asking you just to be a little bit patient here with your manifestations. Um, if things aren't showing in your life up, if they're not showing up in your life just yet, it's okay. Okay, it just means that it's not the time for that person or that situation or that, you know, thing, dream goal or you're trying to manifest. So be patient with yourself, be patient with the universe here. Do remain focused. Don't let, if it's not showing up in your life, don't let that stop you. Don't let that discourage you from, you know, your manifestation here. Um, also, because the Knight of Swords is governed by, you know, mental energy, you have that, you know, with your manifestation, it's the power of your thoughts, the power of, you know, your intellect here that really allows you to achieve those manifestations. So um, to me, it's a sign that you're highly motivated to pursue dreams, pursue goals, you know, pursue your manifestations. Um, but just make sure that, just make sure that you move forward in a positive way and make sure that you don't, just because things aren't happening for you just yet in your timeline, don't get discouraged and don't think they're not, they're not going to happen for you just yet. Because it feels like you've got some, you've got some forward momentum and it's such a high energy with the Knight of Swords, isn't it? And you're attracting this kind of energy in which I feel like you're so inspired to take action and you're so inspired to manifest your goals. And it's such a wonderful energy and it's such an amazing energy that you're going to be showered with. But, and there's always a but, I know, just in the process, make sure you don't become too impulsive or too rash or even aggressive with some of your decisions or some of your manifestation goals. Um... Two of Pentacles here, you're definitely manifesting prosperity here. And I definitely feel like you're manifesting, a lot of you are manifesting something very tangible and real here. Um, your workload is going to be very high. So some of you are going to be getting a second job or a second income here. Some of you are going to find a, a way to turn like a hobby or something that you love into a money making ID or, um, or into even a business here. Um, You're going to be very busy here. You're very busy, so make sure you don't rush anything here. And make sure you don't, during this busyness, you don't uh, miss seeing the bigger picture here. Very productive here. You're very productive. Um, I see you managing your time and your priorities very well in the future. You're juggling... I feel like you're giving special attention to your financial situation and your commitments here. 
and you're manifesting that right energy field and that you know taking that inspired action to achieve your goals to achieve your ambitions here um, to me it also it's a card that kind of wants to draw attention to your awareness and just you know the concept of balance You're having opportunities come your way that are in alignment with your goals here, especially any financial goals, um, any like career opportunities, business opportunities. You're attracting the right people who are going to present you with those opportunities, who, who are going to also help you on your path to, you know, achieving success and um, connecting you with the right people, the right circumstances, the right opportunities here. You're also manifesting new, I feel like there's new business connections, new networks here, networking connections, um, just a new, creating new um, and forming new connections in general, whether it's love, friendship or business here. And with the tower moment, it's not that bad, trust me, to me it feels like you're manifesting, you know, a, a renewal or a transformation, That that's what it feels like. Um, I know it's a scene of chaos and it's a scene of distract, uh, destruction here, but it represents, I feel like it represents, you know, the tower collapsing represents that it's creating space in your life for new ambitions and new goals here to be made and to be achieved here. It's symbolizing an energy, the lightning bolt symbolizes an energy that flows down from the universe here and through the crown chakra, right? And... To me, it feels like your the universe here is blessing you with something here might end. The universe is blessing you with endings that are going to give birth to new beginnings. Endings of relationships, ending of business connections, ending of, you know, career paths here. Um, massive change. It could be new job, new connections here, new events. Um, that will affect you spiritually, physically, spiritually, I said that funny, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally here. And you know what? There's no escape, this massive cataclysmic change that's coming into your life here. But you, you wouldn't want to because everything that becomes destroyed or everything that, you know, ends for you, is for your highest good it's because it's creating a sense of renewal transition and transformation and you're create you're manifesting new chapters new beginnings here renewal see you're also manifesting uh like truth like a sense of truth coming to light like a, maybe the the truth of who you are and your true path and you know um uh, as we spoke about early in the reading the highest and most authentic versions of people in your life here so you're manifesting all of that here now some of you are also manif manifesting two of cups is uh like partnerships here okay collaborations here so there's this flow between two romantic energies yourself and someone else you could be manifesting a new romantic energy you could be manifesting that ideal partner that ideal partnership that ideal business ship bus business partnership that ideal networking connection here something that you're in flow of so whomever or whatever it is it's because you're manifesting that very situation that very thing because you both are aligned and vibrationally in sync and in frequency with one another here so definitely a partnership a business partnership of some sort it's also the flow between two very different people it represents um the two of cups represents a you know a, a manifestation of Deep connections, partnerships, one that's based on either unconditional love, if it's for romantic, if it's business, it's one that's based on shared values, compassions, uh, shared goals here. But you're manifesting people and things in your life that feel very deeply fulfilling and rewarding here in the long term here. You're also reaching higher planes of consciousness and awareness here.
And Queen of Swords here, your energy, I like that because to me it feels like it's just the Queen of Swords has such a receptive energy, right? And I feel like you're very receptive to the flow of the universe here. Um, you're very in tune with yourself here, with who you are, you know, with your higher self, with your, your higher being here. There's a lot of mental clarity as well that you're manifesting here. And that mental clarity is going to help you make some very intellectual um, and wise investments and decisions now and going forward here. You're manifesting in an environment or an outer surrounding that feels very harmonious and it just makes sense of who you are. And you're connecting with people through an intellectual level, through an emotional level, but ones that speak to you here. You could also be hearing thoughts and opinions of others, but you're choosing to filter out what is true and what isn't according to you. Okay, the truth according to you. All right, guys, and these are your messages. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you guys for your time, energy, and attention. Greatly appreciate it. And good luck with all the manifestation. Okay, things are taking a little bit longer to arrive here. But the Seven of Pentacles does speak to us of the long-term benefits and investments here. So just remember, if the universe is making you wait for someone or something, it's worth the wait. It'll be worth the wait.